Welcome back, everybody, to another episode of Bee Fishing. I am Brett, and as the title may imply, the other day we had a little incident. I wanted to go fishing. Chris wasn't available. I said, can I borrow the boat? He said, absolutely. Sure. Take the boat. Let's go. And, well, something happened. We were fishing in about eight foot of water on some rock. Um, with no luck and we said all right we need to get out of here I trolled over to about 20 foot of water pulled the trolling motor out of the water and was idling when all of the sudden oh, shit. we hit something big we hit a boulder we hit something something big and well now the skeg on the motor the foot of the motor as some people call it a little damaged a little dinged up and I'm gonna try to fix it today but Chris actually is fine with leaving it the way it is but as a person who was trusted with the boat I cannot in good faith just let it look like that I need to fix it I want to fix it and I think I got some ideas so stay tuned here's what we did to the to the to the skeg doesn't really look like a whole lot but it's enough to make me feel bad you can see we got a little bit of problems right here we definitely have a problem right there outside of that she don't look too bad but we need to fix that all right so we're gonna open up this JB weld all right so it's a two-part mixture it's got the hardener and the resin and they need to be equal parts so we're just gonna mix this up real quick. Get some goo right there. All right. So there we go, we're all good and mixed. I did bring a little putty knife just to smooth out the edges. It's not gonna be completely smooth. We're actually gonna take a little bit of a Dremel and a file and we're gonna make it completely smooth. But let's go over to the engine and start putting this on. All right, so what? So we're so where are we gonna put this? We're gonna put it right there. We're gonna, watch your fingers, cause it's real sticky. We're just gonna fill this in, almost like body filler on a car. We wanna make sure it's all nice and full. And it's gonna take several applications. To get it all nice and packed in there. So what's gonna end up happening is the glue is going to get more and more sticky. It's gonna get a little bit more hard as this time goes on. So probably in about 10 minutes, I'm gonna come back, I'm gonna put a little bit more on when it's not so liquefied since it just mixed. Um, what that stuff does, it actually gets a little warm. That's what makes it get real, real doughy. Um, I need it to thicken up a little bit more before I put another application on. But what I wanna do is use it basically like Bondo on a car. I want the thing to be nice and completely covered and then I'm gonna come back with a grinder and file it all down smooth and then we'll paint it and it'll be just as good as new. So we're back for day two of the skeg repair and here's what it looks like right now it's all dry we just need to file this sand it down smooth and then we'll slap some paint on it hopefully it'll be good as new All right, so for the final thing before we paint, we're gonna do a little bit of rubbing alcohol just to remove any of that dust we just created by sanding. 
Rubbing alcohol dries a little bit quicker. That's really the only reason you're using it as opposed to water. It will dry and take off all that nastiness. So we're using Mercury's own black. So hopefully it will match somewhat, but this will be underneath the water so it doesn't have to be totally perfect. All right, here we go. All right, so on the boat, I'm gonna show you the finished product since we have worked all day on it. It's taken a process of just over 24 hours, but here we go. Here is the finished product. Look at that. really good guys we even hit up some of those scratches that were there they're gone there you go all that to say is you can accidentally or purposefully do stupid things as long as you know how to fix them and i appreciate chris letting me use the boat i felt really bad that i hit those rocks with the with the prop or the skeg or whatever it wasn't the prop it was the skeg um but we fixed it i can sleep a little bit better at night knowing that it's not as bad as it was so if you like today's video go ahead and hit that like button it lets me know i'm doing a good job leave a comment below if you've got any suggestions on things i could have done differently if this idea helps you um, and as always if you have not subscribed to the greatest subscribing group on youtube the bee fishing family become a bff hit that red subscribe button and we'll catch you guys next time hey.